Hi everyone, this is Arthur from Arthur Ease Your Mind here at YouTube. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for the subscribers, for the likes, the shares, the wonderful comments, and above all, the wonderful support. I really feel like I have a new home here, even though the lady from the welcome wagon hasn't shown up yet, but that's okay. I can still wait. <laughs> Just kidding. In the meantime, look, there was one question I got that I want to start with. That's okay. Crazy Shark 22 wrote, it's so sad to see what's happening in Maui. How long do you think it'll take them to recover and rebuild? I love Maui. The first time I was there, I was 19. Anyway, as of now, 67 lives and souls have been lost. Unfortunately, I feel that number is going to double. Hopefully not triple. These are the most spiritually centered people I've ever met. They're wonderful. They're kind. They open their hearts to everyone. And I feel now it's our time to open our hearts to them. So I have only one question to ask or one favor to ask. Could you please say a prayer for them tonight? I think the whole world needs to do a most benevolent outcome for them so they can get through this and survive. Now, how long is it going to take to rebuild? I was thinking three years. I feel there are going to be a lot of contractors working on this, a lot of people volunteering, a lot of people just getting things done. And best of all, while yes, I see it, mini malls and all that kind of stuff showing up, I'm not feeling the people being displaced. I really don't feel people be losing their identities, losing their dignity because they've lost their house to a fire. I really feel they'll able, they will be able to continue their lives. So again, please say a prayer. These islands are magical. These islands are protected by spirits. Remember Greg? When he said the lava rock. That being said, okay, moving on. So I think something happened in court today in New York. No, not New York, DC. With our wonderful Judge Chutnik. Chutkin, sorry. My brain moves faster than my mouth. People think I stutter. I don't. Sort of. Anyway. Mr. Smith went to Washington and filed a protective order last Friday after Mr. Trump had put out on his social media, you come after me, I'll come after you. What does that sound like? Remember little bullies on the playground? I am rubber, you are glue. What you say to me bounces off of me and sticks to you. I mean, this guy's the loser in many, many, many ways. So... His protective order, Jack Smith didn't get everything that the DOJ wanted, but they got most of it. Anything that is sensitive information, names, transcripts, all the good stuff that Trump wanted to get his hands on, he couldn't. He can't. So that's a good thing. At the same time, She reminded them that he's a criminal defendant. Criminal defendants don't always have the same rights as everybody else. There are rules that he has to follow. If he doesn't follow those rules, there are consequences. Now, she didn't come out and say anything direct, but she did say, I wrote it down. If there's any more public statements, or if there are any public statements, it's just going to result in the trial going faster. So, checkmate. 
And also, you know, I am clear on it. So there are times I hear things. And when I was watching the court stuff on TV, spirit started talking to me, started hearing stuff. And I asked them if they could do me a great big favor. And if they could share with you what I hear. So let's try this experiment, okay? That's right. You are going to be Claire Audit. You are going to hear what I hear when I think of Trump. So everyone, let's try this. Gently close your eyes. Think Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> Are you hearing what I hear? Okay, for entertainment purposes only. Gotcha. <laughs> I thought you were going to hear something, right? Well, you did. A baby. Big fat baby. So, I asked for questions. And I'll give you answers. At least that I can. Now, I'm not going to go in order because some of the questions asked were about the same thing. So I hope that's okay. Kathy Holcomb. Hi, Arthur. I'm so glad that you are sharing your gifts with us. My question is regarding Judge Cannon. Will she be sanctioned for her preference towards 45? Thank you. And Candy C. Kelly asked, what will be the DOJ's response to Judge Cannon guiding Trump's lawyers to complain about grand jury testimony in D.C. versus Florida? Will they go to the 11th District to complain about her on this case or in this issue? And Robin Lisa Rosenberg wrote, Do you see Judge Cannon getting the boot of the court? Yes, yes, and yes. However, what I do see is this whole thing with the DOJ where she's like questioning, where she like gave away the secret that there's a secret jury, a grand jury in DC going on, which no one's supposed to know about, but the world knows now. That may not be it just yet. I actually feel she's going to pull another little stunt and that's it. It's like, remember the vaudeville shows where they give them the hook? She's going to get the hook. And she will go down in the history books. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, like the doctor, the help booth. His name is Mud. Your name is Mud. I don't know if it's going to be all of a sudden people saying your name is Cannon. But she's going to be shot from a cannon. But basically, Colt 45 is not going to be happy that he's not going to get his way on everything. But the way I look at it, Jack Smith is doing a great job. He's going to be number one. He's going to take this to trial first with what he has. So, moving on. Trebas4166. I am so sorry if I really mess up your names. Hi, Arthur. What is the best, fastest way to raise your vibration back up? All this news is so heavy. Easy. Turn off the TV. Turn off the news. Seriously. Get yourself a book. Or a book on tape. Whatever. Get yourself outside. Read. Get in nature. Just focus on you. And the wonderful life you have. As opposed to all this crap. Also, if you really want to know. Check out. In my miscellaneous section. There's a video, which is one minute long, called How to Love Yourself. It's only, I did like 11 years ago. But that being said, when we raise our vibration, we gain clarity. We bring the right people around us. And best of all, we no longer get the Jerry Springer people bothering us because we're no longer on their wavelength. So 
there you go. Love yourself. Love others. Stay away from TV. She also asks, how many more indictments do you see Jack Smith issuing 45? Um, I get several more. However, I don't see him adding anything to what was filed on August 1st. I feel that's going to be reserved just for Humpty Dumpty for entertainment purposes only. But I just feel it's going to, that way it's streamlined just for Trump. Oh, and by the way, I put the 45 page indictment against President 45 below in the about section. So please take a moment, read it, read it, read it. It'll blow you away what these people did or attempted to do, but didn't get away with. So I want to say there's there are more indictments going to Trump. Yes. I feel that's what DC is working on right now. And I feel that's the stuff about the wire fraud where, you know, raising money, the five, $10 people giving what they can and hoping to help him. My only question is he's a billionaire. So he says, why would people be giving him money? They work hard for their five, $10 and they're going to give them to him. What are you nuts? Also, you're working hard and you're scrimping together five, ten dollars to give this man. And then Melania's spending nine thousand dollars a month from the pack to get her hair done. So stop. Put that, that five, ten dollars and put it in a piggy bank. It may not earn interest, but it's a savings. Do you see 45 being gagged? I've surrounded him with white light, white light duct tape over his mouth. Someone please shut him up. <laughs> well, actually on a previous show, I did say that I surround him with white light, purple light, and put him in a big bubble. But just hope that he sucks the air and all the oxygen out of it. Um entertainment purposes only also oh yeah and another best way to raise your vibrations and get out of your own head now this is what i actually do this is truth it, i really do this and i tell people i go to netflix yes i binge watch netflix however i ended up watching everything in korean i don't know how to speak korean other than konsamita. that's it that's it but the reason being, it gets you out of your head because you have to read the subtitles. Plus, the revenge stories are great. The music's great. The acting's great. The writing's good. So just try it. And if you don't like Korean, there's so many other languages you can try. But you have to read the subtitles, and that gets you out of the head. Actually, one time I had a client call. And he said, what do I do to get out of my head? His name was Tony. He had this Brooklyn accent. And I just said, well... This is what I do when I told him about Korean movies. He said, that's not going to help me. I'm calling from Seoul, Korea. Well, I asked him if he was looking for a soulmate. I know, really bad joke. But anyway, he understood. I think he, know, I think he speaks Italian now. So that being said, moving on. Sweetie darling Lulu. Oh, my God. Hi, Arthur. Will Leah Remy win her lawsuit against Scientology? And what damage will it do to Scientology? She's been going through a lot. I mean, she left the church, what, in 2012? She did the series, you know, documentary series about Scientology, which they were not too happy about. And I believe what she's suing them for is they've been harassing her, stalking her, just making her life hell. Um, holding back from getting parts and getting work. Um, I do feel she'll win. And I feel she'll win substantially. But will it hurt Scientology? 
I don't know about you, but I don't think so. In fact, here in Los Angeles, they run ads for Scientology. It looks like you're going to Disneyland. What is Scientology? And, you know, all this festivities. I don't know. If that's a religion, I thought religion should have to sit there and pray and be quiet and get smacked by a nun. But anyway. Next question. Hey, Sherry. Hi. Voices from the swamp. Rumors? Oh. My Siri just went off. So. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. <laughs> Sorry. Going back to Voices from the Swamp. Rumors are flying that Harry and Meghan are splitting up. My readings on this are unclear. So what do you get? Is it BS or is there really trouble in paradise? Asking for several folks who have sent me that question. And as I said, I'm not picking anything up on that. I know you're just asking for a friend. Well, when I was a reporter, there was an editor once. I had a great quote. He said, well, the rumor was true. Think about it. The rumor was true. Doesn't mean what the rumor was saying was true. But the fact there's a rumor going around, yes, the rumor is true that it's going around. Think about it. I do not see a split. I do not see them parting ways. I feel their jobs have kept them apart. Like he went to Africa, was it? And then you're supposed to do some stuff with Netflix, but it may get postponed because of the writer strike. But no, I don't see trouble. I don't see her filing for divorce and asking for $80 million. I don't get it. I really don't. Oh, and speaking of Korean, the show that she used to star in Suits on USA Network, there's a wonderful version of it in Korean. Check it out. It's on Netflix. Here's another question about Hawaii. In Hawaii, the land's being used by the U.S. military on a 65-year lease. For a dollar a year, their leases are up in 2027. Do you see restitution from the military? Do you see any reason why the military should have a renewable lease? These leases cover the whole state, so a dollar a year. Can we change this to current rates, bonds, et cetera? Well, I don't see the military bases moving and going away. I feel there may be a renegotiation of the lease, but I don't see the military giving it up. And I don't feel the military is going to be strong, handing, strong arming people to get their way and stuff. I don't. That's just my opinion. Also, I understand that a lot of the property in Hawaii is lease owned. In fact, I was in Kahala with a friend. She was looking at a $500,000 condo. It was beautiful. But then she learned on top of the mortgage, she'd be saying paying stuff like I think it was $7,000 a month in rent to rent the land. So, and the rent would be up in 2020 to 17. So the owner could come in and just take everything by law, which is fine. And that's what the lease says. She did not buy the condo. Anyway, so to answer your question, I feel that there'll be a reevaluation of what the costs are. And there'll be a renewal on the lease. I'm not sure if that's what you hear, but that's what I get. Also, I want to say one thing. When people write in questions, sometimes I don't get an answer. Sometimes I don't have an answer. So I apologize. But if there's something that I can't touch, 
I'm not going to pretend that I know it. Okay. So, so love above one source. I'm sorry. I don't have an answer for your question. But keep on moving forward. Okay. All right. One more question. John Holden. Arthur, you have a great sense of humor. Do I? This may be a political question. This may not be a political question, but what is the funniest thing you may have told someone getting a reading with you? I don't know if I can say that here. Well, actually, one time I was doing a radio show, and we're in the studio. There's a technician, there's the host, and me. And, you know, they build me as a psychic, blah, blah, blah. So a woman calls up and says, So, are you a psychic? I'm like, no, I'm a veterinarian. Yes, I'm a psychic. That's why I'm here on the show. How may I help you? And she responded, her response was, well, let's see how good you are. What will I be thinking in five minutes? I looked at the technician. I looked at the host. They're both going like this. And I just said, that's easy. Why did he hang up? And I hung up on her. Another question, another question I got, a uh, different show was, who's the most creative person you've ever met in Hollywood? That was easy. The guy that does my taxes, my accountant, he's the most creative person I have ever met in my life. It was a work of art. Every year, it's a work of art. He's creative. So... I think they were looking for somebody else's name, but that's what I told them. And that's what I meant. And the one thing about creativity, everybody thinks it has to do with the arts and dancing, music. It does, but there are other forms of creativity, like the accountant with the numbers. And numbers are very creative, as Donald Trump. But Donald Trump... <laughs> But numbers can be creative, but also look at the person that works in HR and knows how to get the right people to work for the right job. Or the IT person that looks at a computer and knows exactly what's wrong. It's creative. It's creativity. So don't think that you're not creative. Everyone is creative. Even if your creativity is driving your neighbors crazy and up the wall, that can be very creative too. So in the meantime... That's it for tonight, Joe. That's it for tonight. I thank you for stopping by. I hope you got a little chuckle. I hope you got a little laugh. I hope you learned something. So above all, take care of you. Take care of others. Have fun and stay safe. Bye-bye.